G'day everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick review of my Krieger OS base and bags. I've had them for about six months, just over six months now. So um, I'll give you my thoughts. Let's check them out. So before I jump into this review, just thought I'd make a mention that I'm not affiliated with Krieger in any way. So I paid for all of this with my own money. Uh, so this is a completely honest review. I don't care if you go and buy these or you buy another brand. So it doesn't bother me one single bit. Uh, as I said before, I've had this for around six months, maybe just over six months. I've done uh, three adventure rides, three multi-day adventure rides with this sort of setup here with the three bags. Um, and I've also done a few short rides, day rides with just the single one on the back. So when I started looking around for some bags for this bike, um, the immediate thing that got me to these ones was just the look. I really like the side profile, um, the way they fit on the bike there. So that's what drew me to them. And then I seen the price and they were a bit pricey, so I was kind of unsure. So I am only relatively new to the adventure bike scene. So unfortunately I don't have anything else to compare these with. Um, but from delivery when I got them, I could tell that they they were made very well. You can see all the all the buckles, the stitching, everything just looked like it's um, meant to be. So I was very happy when I got them delivered. I first initially ordered the base and just the two bags. I didn't have this third one here. Um, so when you order that kit, it does come with these here. These are the OS uh, loops. So it comes with two of them to mount up the OS base. Um, and then down here, you can see at the bottom, you just wrap around your frame. Or on this side, I use that part there instead of going on the frame. You can buy um, some actual mounts to put on your bike. So I should probably get one of them for this side. It would just give this a better angle and um, probably mount up a bit better. So all three of these bags that I have, they're all 12 litre ones. Um, I can fit pretty much everything I need to go away in these three bags and a tank bag and a backpack but most of my stuff's in these bags. Um, I've loaded them up, especially these side ones with a lot of gear. I'm um, not thinking I'd fit that in there and strapped it tight and um, I haven't had any issues. There's no, no tears or anything. I have had a couple of offs with these on there and the only damage that I've done, you can see that, that there um, there was one here and that's tore off but other than that the bag didn't rip a couple of scratches there but um, other than that nothing else broke so I was very happy with that I thought the bag straps would have um, ripped off and everything so I have tested the waterproofness of these as you can see on the inside the waterproof liner there so when you pack it up you just do a couple of folds and uh, clip it in and no water's getting in there. When I've come back from trips, I've pressure cleaned the bike and just left these bags on here. And I've never got a single drop of water in here. I've just got towels in the sides at the moment just to fill the bag out. But yeah, no water got in there. Whereas this one here, it's not a waterproof bag though, but water does get in there. So there's enough to get in that one, but nothing in any of these three got in at all. Um, they've been covered in mud, dust, everything and all my gear has been kept clean and dry inside so very happy with that one other feature that i really liked about these when i grabbed them was um that you can just take these bags off um say you get to camp and it's raining and you want to just jump in your tent all you have to do is you can take all three bags off take them with you and jump in and and um you've got everything in there with you you don't have to open it up and rummage around getting out what you need you just take the whole lot same as if you stayed at a hotel um don't want to leave all this on your bike outside take all the bags off take them with you and everything's in the hotel room with you so i'll take one of these bags off on the os base and I'll, I'll show you behind there of how they actually mount up so it's just got these four four mounts two on this side two on that side so all you have to do to take this off i also attach this here i don't know if it's meant to go through there to mount this but i run that through in there just as a as an extra one it helps tighten the bag up a bit more on the bike to stop it moving around when it's fully loaded up but if you want to get this off just pull these up one two three and four 
and the bag just comes off like that. So you've got these mounting holes here. I just use those outside ones. I gather these ones here are for the smaller bags. I think it's a six litre bag. I've never had to use them because I only have 12 litres, but that's what I assume they're for. So yeah, just put your strap through the hole, hook them in, bags on. I'll take this rear one off and I'll, I'll show you the OS straps underneath here that are holding the OS base on. So I bought a couple of extra OS loops just so I could mount this bag on the back a bit easier. So it comes with two. So the two that came with I had here and then you just strap your base to it, you hook it around your frame, pull it as tight as you can and it's not going anywhere. But yeah, as you can see, I've got four extra ones on there just to mount this third bag on the back. I did have this bag on the back without these extra OS loops and it just kept coming loose from the carry rack. So as I said, all these buckles are super quality. So once you've got your bag loaded up, you just grab this and literally pull it as hard as you can. I can't get it all the way in there because it's, it's not full. If the bag's pretty empty, um, it's hard to tighten it up a lot. It gets to that sort of limit there as far as you can go. But when it's loaded up as big as you can go, pull this as hard as you can and this strap will hold anything. I haven't had a drama with it at all. On the top of the bag you can see here, they've got these other points here. You can mount other things to that. It's good to have if you want to put a strap through there. Because I put my chair on top of here. So when my chair's on there, it's really easy just to strap it to the bags as well. Or you could add other bags on top and tie it over to your other one so they're very handy so earlier today i was trying to think of some negatives to throw in this video of these bags i couldn't really come up with a lot of things um got a couple of things they're not really massive negatives but i'll mention them anyway just with the bags when they're not very loaded up or empty i find it hard to get them to mount up good um these straps here that tighten the bag that's what mounts it on there so if you can't get them tight the bag will move around a bit but to be fair you're not really going to be carrying in the bag if it's empty, so um, not a major issue. Also to mention in here, um, heat shield I've got for the exhaust. First time out, I didn't have this in there. And um, with the weight of the bag pushing on the plastic, plastic got closer to the exhaust and it began to melt. So if you're going to run these bags on a bike like mine or any other bike with a plastic um, guard there on the exhaust, definitely get a heat shield on there. I have seen photos of people who haven't and... Um, it's melted through and started to melt the OS base so you don't want that so one last negative I suppose it's not a massive negative but it is an issue uh, my plastics on the side here are scuffed up from the OS base bouncing around with the weight of the bags I wish I knew beforehand and I would have took these original side panels off and chucked some um, aftermarket ones on there for when I had the OS base on just so I had a nice pair to chuck back on when this is off but I leave this OS base on a lot of the time anyway um, even when the bags aren't on I just leave that there um, it's not too hard to take it off but there's no harm in just leaving it on there and um, you just chuck the bags on whenever you want to pack some gear on and head off so that's about it for this review guys I think I've mentioned everything in short the bags are good the base is good it's all held up so far couple of offs the only breakage is this little this little thing here that doesn't even matter yeah they're pricey but you get what you pay for poor man pays twice remember that so you buy something cheap you'll probably end up with something like this another year down the track anyway but cheers for watching the video i hope it helped you out i couldn't find any videos on these uh, before i bought them so i took a gamble on it and really happy with the end product anyway so chuck a like down the bottom guys if you like the video help me out a lot and uh, subscribe as well. If there's anything else on the bike you want to know about, chuck them in the comments below. Uh, I'll do my best. Cheers for watching again. Catch you in the next one.